Welcome back to Red Band of Destiny for another episode of All Your Vehicles Are Belong to Us, the show where we collect all the vehicles from all the places. And we, of course, in Russia. Um, we're about to go for an achievement here. Um, so I kind of decided I think I'm going to focus on the Rift for today. And the fact that it has a very big, easy payday in it has nothing to do with it at all. But it's, uh, it's basically an un... It's definitely an untapped land right now. I'm not sure if any of the missions will ever send us there or not, because it is it was a free DLC. So the idea of this achievement is to never let off the gas. Um, I'm hoping it, it's fine with you starting without your finger on the trigger. You just need to start as soon as you're actually moving. Um, but I figured this is probably the best map to do it in because it's, it's a pretty straight shot from one side to the other. I suppose there are others where there's closer, but I don't want to do it in Alaska because ice. And I guess that doesn't leave very many good options. If you, you freeze to do it in Alaska, then you're limited. I assume that it's perfectly happy for you to do anything That's driving from one tunnel to another. So I've kind of decided to um, actually go ahead and start my planned series of Playing a game set in every country and every state. U.S. state, that is. Um, but we're going to kind of integrate it into this one. So, um, for instance, we've already done most of Alaska and most of Michigan. So we'll just sort of finish up those maps as a part of that series. Uh, and I guess we'll probably end up finishing the Russian stuff. I might even end up getting the Russian DLCs. Just to do maximum Russian. Not sure what I'm going to do about Canada yet, because I might, I might want to play Assassin's Creed Rogue. But I'm not sure yet. I'm only going to do one game per country. I'm definitely going to try and keep this to uh, open world countries, open world games. Uh, no point playing, you know, Call of Duty because it's set in Virginia or whatever. Done it. But, but we may be considering games like Civilization, which I'm actually... Actually, you know what? I just bought that, so yeah, I've committed to doing that. Um, it's on sale for 75%. Yeah, it's a couple days after Black Friday, so... 
figured I'd knock that out. Um, and we can now play that. I'll probably play it by myself so I get a, get a feel for it. But I wanted a game that is kind of lets you do a, a world map, which I'm not sure if it does in the base game, but I'm sure there's a mod I can get that will let me do that. The modded versions might be better anyway. Because it'll be like massive map or whatever. Hmm. Let me check something real quick. Okay, service trailer. Scout fuel trailer. So only tricky thing about this map is there is no trailer store. So we have a lot of trailers that are going to need to be pulled out of this map and taken back. Um, well, first priority, we're going to do the pacifist mission. Let's just see what else we can get done. Oh, well, I guess we're doing that after Pacifist, then. We're definitely going to need a scout. Since we don't need this, I'll strip it down. I wasn't sure if we were going to need it. Huh. Might replace it with the um, newer Voron that we bought. At least I assume it's newer. This game cannot process this information. Well, that got us pretty close to the next vehicle. How much is it, anyway? we got to be really close, though. 93. Okay, so it's... Not super cheap. But I'm going to grab the ink. I don't feel like bringing the ank, so, for the yar. I didn't leave anything attached to the yar, did I? Okay, that was the only thing I did to it, so that's fine. Big chunky tires, check. Emergency proof winch. It's 
spare supplies. Oh, does that mean we lose the f spare tire? We're prepared. Here we go. <laughs> Probably do that the other way around. Oh, I thought, I thought I was, was going to hit that. I'm not sure how we're going to fit in the... National stuff. Um, we may have about 250... Just over 250 total of states and, sit and countries. Countries, I think, over between... 193 or 197, depending on what classification of nation is... I think I'm going to go with uh, majority rep uh, recognition from the UN. So, for majority of UN countries, recognize the country as a country as a country. With the exception of Taiwan, because that's a special political situation that is um, skewed by the um, nature of the fact that the conflicting nation is uh, the, the biggest nation on the planet. I just realized that truck has still been sitting here. Oh, it's going down there. Let's sketch this trailer store there. So, that's a good question. Where are we going for trailer stores? Are we going back to the Nagorsk? I think we are. I mean, to do that, we definitely want something that can pick up that gooseneck. It's like a freebie situation if we get to take the gooseneck. Because it's dried at five feet and sell it. I'll tell you I didn't miss the turn. I missed the turn. That's a tight turn that is there. Yeah, with 250 countries, we got about 50 years worth of these games, so that's Actually, more like 100 games, because we're doing two. Yeah. Actually, technically, it's intended to be 150 games, because I want to do a uh, fan-led series, but uh, that'll, that only works if you guys contribute something. So, And by contribution, I mean, let me know what you want me to play. I don't know what 
we should start from them. Oh shit. We should start from 71 or from... No, 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 no. oh god. Whoops. I'll try and rescue the Hummer, but I don't know if it's going to work. It does have a pretty decent sized engine. So I don't know, maybe it'll be able to do it. This is the nuclear waste that I lost earlier. Yeah, the Hummer's got nothing. Okay. I guess we can go get that truck. Let's pick up the gooseneck. Gonna have to check because I'm not sure if that's high or low semi. Gooseneck. Oh, where's this fuel carrier trailer we're supposed to be delivering? Apparently. We can do that too. Guess we can try out the grad then. Which I forgot to paint, I just realized. You know what? That's nah, not nice with the gearbox. I think I want the extended more than the high powered. Trailer store over here. Okay, so that is the right size.
I guess I'll go and do what I was intending to do with this truck first. Get all sorted out with that. Too early. So that's, let's see, we're going to sell two trailers, complete two missions, and uh, I don't know what we're doing after that. Hopefully we can just take it home. I'd like to see if we can continue it on a cycle that we can just bring it home, get our money back from it. Just gotta remember where I'm dropping off the ink. it was here. Oops, oop, oh god. That was all suspension damage. So the route we're probably going to take is, yes, this one. Because I can't do anything about that trailer for now. Let's we'll come back for that one. So I'll go get the trailer and then we'll drag it. Uber here. So all the way for the rocks. Probably don't need it with this truck, but whatever. I think the interesting thing about doing the U.S. states is going to be it's basically just a list of games that are better than American Truck Simulator because that's like my, going to be my default. Um, might not be able to do all the states anytime soon, um, but I'm confident that they at least intend to, to do all the states at this point. I'm just wondering how long that's going to take them. I mean, have they done? Have they done? Have they even done ten yet? And the game came out like four or five years ago. Cause they got let's see, the three West Coast states. Well, apart from Alaska, but that doesn't usually get. That's kind of more of its own category than anything else. So the, those three, and then Nevada was in the base game. Uh, Arizona was free, that's five. New Mexico, that was the first DLC, that's six. Uh, Colorado just came out, that's seven. Idaho was the one before that, that's eight. Uh, is that all the ones that are out? I think that's all the ones that are out. And then Texas and Wyoming are rumored to be the next ones. Oh, Utah. Utah's out, so that's nine. 
I think Utah's out. Yeah, it must be out. There's no way they're thinking about doing Wyoming if Utah's not done. So eight. And then they've confirmed they're doing two more. A big one and a small one. Um, which logic would dictate is Wyoming and Texas. Unless, of course, they've decided that Montana is big enough to be considered a big project. I mean, it is a big state, but I don't believe that it's a very big project in terms of... Um, that studio. It's a bigger project than Idaho, certainly, but I just realized I have to have to back up this truck to reach Why don't we get this to work? Does he only connect to the side? Is there no... Oh, with fuel tankers, you can only do the side? Oh, great. make life suitably miserable. How far does this trail go? Twists and turns and we turn right and we're right there. really didn't suspect that this truck would be so difficult, but that's a shortcut, isn't it? I do believe that American Truck Simulator, uh, the developers, SES Software, do intend to complete at least 48 states. Whether they intend to do Hawaii and Alaska, I don't know. I mean, it seems like Hawaii would be a bit, a bit of a waste of their time. I mean, it wouldn't be very fun for American Truck Simulator. It's like, and you're at the edge of the island, time to go to the next one. I don't know, maybe for completionist reasons they would. And you can just have like a little trucking company that does deliveries on Hawaii. But that doesn't really make sense, to be honest. I mean, I doubt there's even much of a trucking industry in Hawaii. Alaska does make sense, but it's just a little tricky because you gotta. You basically would have to do Canadian DLC before you could do Alaskan DLC, and that's at least two provinces as well. You have to, at minimum, do British Columbia and the Yukon. So, I don't know. Maybe they will commit to doing Canadian DLCs at some point and just do all, what, the 10 provinces and 13, to a total of 13, including the territories. 
though, hmm, hang on. I know none of it, I don't think none of it has any roads that connect to the road network. I'm not sure about the Northwest Territory, so it might just be Yukon that has roads. At least any a significant number of roads. Which goes that down to 11. But I'd imagine the rest of the, all of the provinces are accessible. I'm not sure about Newfoundland, though. Or is it Labrador? I forget which one it is. It's revolved to itself. Hmm. But what I don't see them doing is Mexico. I don't see that. I feel like there would be too much new stuff they'd have to make to do Mexico. It looks too different. At least Canada and America look similar. If you drop someone in a street in Toronto, you would be, they'd be forgiven for thinking it was Boston. Until you see a speed limit sign, then you'd be like, what? What happened? You run out of fuel? Well, I can't fuel it, so. It's funny, I was just thinking, oh, I hope I don't run out of fuel. Well, the Yukon does, I do have to think about that, because I don't know what I'm going to do with that for this game. I mean, if I did do it, it would just be, this is Canada. Have fun. But, but that means it's competing with uh, Assassin's Creed Rogue. Which is essentially just Black Flag with Snow and Ice. But we will very likely be playing Black Flag, because that has like 10 countries in it. Because there's so many Caribbean nations there. Alright, let me just come back for that, since we're almost here. I don't think I've ever actually used this one. It looks pretty useless for this game. <laughs> Did I know that time trial was there? Hey, I just bought that game. Firewatch. Another game that was on sale for 25% or 75% off. Oh, there's a fuel station too. Dude, mind if I do? Huh. This is busted trailers. That, that trailer has just decided to leave by itself.
What's this? this? Late inspection. Hmm. Oh, I can go pick that up. Is this where I came from? I'm not sure if we can leave this truck in good conscience for a while. So I think he ran into something. So I'm gonna put ah, yes, he did. Got another trailer to grab though. Imagine being a road tester for um, suspension, <laughs> having to <laughs> drive on that. So I think I might just pop up that um, late inspection tower hill thing. We'll knock that out and then we'll recover this truck and get rid of it. It's done its fair share of work, I think. Ooh, what was that? Is that the definition of a cheap and cheerful bridge?
Oh, oh. that's... I didn't realize it hadn't been restored. I suppose we took it to a trailer store, so that's not really an issue. Let's go get a service trailer then. We need another trailer. See, this is why you take it to the service center because then it's really easy to do. Oh, well, I can't do that with this truck. Uh, I thought it was there. What? Well, what was up the... Oh, that was the... Okay. I see. fuel carrier trailer that fuel carrier trailer <sighs> okay that's tricky yeah I'm just gonna leave this here and go deal with something else Try and safely transition to the next map. I'm not even going to get the Hummer right now. 
I'll bring it up in a second. Keys. That's sketchy. Where's the only one that sounds like you're starting a modern vehicle? Probably because it is a modern vehicle, but... Okay, I think we kind of have to be a little bit careful because we could damage it on these big rocks, but... It's thin enough that it won't have an issue. It's weird being in a situation where a hummer is thin, as usual. There we go. Off the time here. Okay, so from here we can get to the, uh, uh what I'm going to do, dub the Fixie Fuely Station. I think that's probably the best option to start with. Why is that way over there? So I wonder if this is the thing the other DLCs have, the um, fuel station and repair station. Oh god. Lucky you don't, you don't have to ask it to fix your truck. You do have to ask it to fuel your truck. Okay, so we got our fuel trailer. Just got... Oh, hang on. Ah, we should have gone the other way. Going up that steep ass. Okay, 
Because it's not too, too bad, bad if you've come, come prepared. So if you're crazy, you could go that way. I think we'll go to the designated crossing, though. Um. Well, that's just a cliff. Yeah, I think one at a time. So much for designated. interesting. <laughs> I guess they had a bit of a sinkhole there. So now, now we, we follow the path around in a big circle. It's going to be the easiest money we've made in a while. Actually, we might be about to make so much money that we can buy two trucks. <laughs> Didn't really help, did it? Okay. 
that wasn't my fuel tanker. Now we've run everything out of fuel. Look at this beauty. We need it here? Not really, do we? This isn't my Tuz. That role has always, always been filled. Even when it wasn't filled. Goodbye. 186,000 dollars. Let's buy some shit. Well, yeah, I guess this is a double episode because that's two trucks. Three to go. I don't think I'm really interested in these. This truck looks useful. Might try this out next time. Make it original steak black. Lovely. Well, that's it. That's uh, been the Azov 64131 and Boron AE4380 episode. Uh, we'll be back next week for the next one. one.